and protect yourself at all times. Good luck to both of you. Go back to your corner and look for you at the bell. Well, this one is going to be quite the contest, Hammer. Absolutely, and a strap on the line to boot. Dibs Mwaka has finished uh, all of his opponents early. That's impressive, whatever way you cut it. Off, uh, off the the fan, the as well, uh, a good career prior to turning pro. And uh, obviously not here to make up the numbers. Box. I asked uh, Dibs Mwaka's trainer, Sam Brizzy, to sum him up in one word. Specimen was what he came up with. <laughs> there you go. And he's quite the athlete, but it's Vita Pomale taking it early with some lefts and rights. Pomale, obviously, uh, here to trade leather, not giving uh, Mwaka time to settle. He's opted to go early with the pressure. This one proudly sponsored by Adidas Combat Sports. We thank them for their support of this Ellis in association with Pro Bellum event. Mawaka now just slowly looking up Vita and seeing whereabouts he can find an opening, Ooh. but Vita's looking just to get in there as hard as he can, as quick as he can. I think he knows that Mawaka, the longer this goes, the more Mawaka's going to have the advantage. It'll settle, yeah. Pomelie's catching the jab beautifully as well with those Adidas gloves, doing it well, and he's countering as well. I like what I'm seeing early from Pomelie. Great nickname, of course, the Kinshasa Killer and Kinshasa Hammer. Such a famous place in boxing history. Yeah. The home of the Rumble in the jungle. Absolutely. I'm just uh, looking at Milwaukee. He's a little tentative at this point, perhaps uh, aware of the power that's been thrown early by, by Pomelé. Well, Pomelé is just a big unit. You look across the ring, you see that bloke, you're thinking, geez, I'm up for a fight here. And Milwaukee is going to have to do something special. I, I feel like he's, he's just waiting for his opportunity. He doesn't want to get in there early and make a mistake. He's come in shape. Pomelé and uh, not taking any unnecessary risks. He's got a nice high guard. He's catching the jab beautifully. So they've obviously done their homework, the blue corner. The problem stallion, Vita Pomale in the black trunks. Dids Mawaka in white with a gold stripe. Tell you what, there's a big overhand. Pomelé there has. He, he's, uh, he's rolling it beautifully and setting it even for the left hook after if he wants. Stalks forward again, measures with the jab. They right. tie up in Step close. Push on the Mawaka, I'm surprised he, he has, he's uh, using the jab nicely, but Pomelé is uh, well aware of, of that jabbing speed that he's got. He's catching it, though. He's catching it, and he's uh, not looking phased by the jab at this point. Mawaka 3-0 gets in with the right. Mwaka's doing the right thing. He's circling to his right, away from the right hand of Pomelé. Oh, Pomelé, the big right hand over the lead. He's just waiting for his opportunity. Yeah. He's waiting for Mwaka to open up, and he's just unloading on him. Focus and clarity from Pomelé. Peter's doing, uh, doing a good job thus far. Whoever loses tonight still has a big future, Hammond. Oh, Absolutely. For the winner, it's a really important step up. Absolutely, and uh, good overhand to finish from Pomelé there. Round number one. Uh, I'll, I'll lean slightly Vita his way. Time, taking on Jesse White, the West Australian. That's still to come this evening at Once Upon a Time at the Melbourne Box. Pavilion. Round two. Round two action about to begin. I think Moaka has to just let his guard down. Just He has to understand he will make a couple of mistakes here, but he has to go on the aggressive... It's a jab. The, overhead, the hook's coming in tight and powerful from Pomelé. Mawaka trying to get those long straight punches working for him. A trade of jabs. Stop! Locks the body in. Shuts down Pomelé. There's Mawaka. Mawaka now again just measuring with the jab, measuring with the jab. And eats the overhand right, overhand left, I'm sorry. Pomelo's just Pomelo taking his now. time. He's just finding his opportunities and he's making sure that he punishes Mawaka when he can. You've got to think if any of these uppercuts that Pomelo throws lands, that could be all she wrote. But Dids Mawaka still very much just jabbing away, looking for his own right. He's gone, he's gone south for now, Pomelo, as well. So he's going to look to roll that, that big left hand. 
or the uppercut as well if he steps out. Foot positioning is important when you have opposing stances. They're both jostling, jostling to get that foot to the outside. So they've got good rotation on their rear hand. Walker's corner is loud and trying to get there him to go. listen. You see Pomelo just step, big step with that lead foot to the outside, which brought that rear hand through. Yep, both the shots you're talking about there, Hammer, the left and the uppercut he was looking for. Just measuring picture of Composio is Vita Pomelo. Mwaka having uh, finished his uh, opponents earlier in the other fights. He's, uh, he's going to maybe be taken into deep water here. Again, that powerful rear hand of Pomelo's almost stifling the flow of Dids Mwaka. It does seem that way, doesn't it? I mean, everyone who steps between the ropes is a warrior. But in terms of the calmness yeah. about Vita Pomale at the moment. Yeah, he's just composed. He's not phased by, oh. by the... There it is. Mwaka saying, talking about it being to the head, to the back of the head, but we're certainly on the jawline. Oh, Pomale lining up Mwaka now. Step back. Mwaka would have tried to buy himself a little bit of time there, trying to claim the back of the head. Pomelo is just taking his time. He's finding these openings. He's, he's using his advantage. Yeah, he's he's not, calm. He's not uh, going to make any unforced errors. He's taking his time and measuring, stepping the right way as well, stepping away from the power side. Slips under that right hand of Mwaka, does Pomelo. Measures again and gets the uppercut away. That short rear hand of Pomelo has got a lot of power behind it, and he's sitting on the punch beautifully. Time! That is in of round number two. Good round for Vita Pomelo. I'll give that to the blue as well. The, killer, the problem stallion, Vita so According to Mike the Hammer Castanini, it is two rounds, Pomelo. Picture of uh, Composure is Vita Pomelo. And he's not even breathing heavy. I was watching the fighters in between the, in the break there, just looking at the breathing, looking at, uh, you know, how gassed they were. And uh, Vita Pomale was here's pretty Whoa. composed. Big up a oh. Pomale has put the one. Sends him down. The power of Vita Pomale. Six. Mawaka frustrated seven, with himself eight. there. He oh, saw him punch his gloves. He wasn't happy that he went down. I was just about to say Mawaka was ble probably breathing heavier in the break. So the adrenaline and the, the uh, fatigue maybe t playing a part now. Take, getting taken into deep water. Is up uh, Mawaka by Pomelo. Pomelo just up a again. needs to, the, to uh, not crowd himself. He's short on the rotation and high on the power, Vita Pomelo. That right uppercut. He's going for it again, following oh. it up with the left hook. Nice counter right hand by Mawaka then. Mawaka short, short uppercut. Short hook, body, body. Now he's turning the table back in his favour a little, is Mawaka. And Hammer, is that sometimes the way you've got to respond to a knockdown? Tell you what, he's been woken up by it. Maybe he was uh, in cruise control early, Mawaka, and now he knows uh, he's got to fire up. Sometimes some fighters need that, you know, to, to get him up to that next level. So he was uh, sort of trying to... Oh, look at that lead hook. And again! I said, Brave, can you take a step back, all right? You all right? That was a solid left hold hook. I didn't, hold didn't hold know there's a bit of conjecture there on the break. I didn't hear the break. They were throwing, so I don't, I'm not really sure why a break would have been called. Probably yeah. now using that right lead hook. Sorry, uh, yeah, right lead hook to his advantage. Yeah, but Mawaka has woken up, Hammer, like you said, and he's finding a few openings himself. But Pomelo yes. now... Looking unsteady on his feet, a little Mawaka, though. Jeb gets through the guard by Pomelo. There it is. One, two, solid. Oh, big. Big shots. There big goes Mawaka. Will this be it? The ref will give Mawaka a chance to get to his feet. He looks unsteady. Six, what a left there by Pamela. Standing count. Hey, he's got to ask him to show it's what he's got left. Like oh. It'll be a referee's call. Line ball decision. Yeah, this one, I'll tell you continue. what. Pom Pomelo is going to try and unload. Mawaka should be holding on now yes. rather than, than uh, exchanging at range. He should get in. He's oh, in all sorts. This is going to be called off, I reckon. Yeah, the ref's got to step in. All the towel's got to be thrown. One way or the other, Victor Pomale is about to become the victorian. 
Silver Cruiserweight Champion, you'd have to say. One more time, second one, you're on the break. Although the ref giving the workers some time. The tie-up may have just saved him, Sam. Oh, so funny, tell you what. The commentator's curse. He's either going to leave big square. Redfall. And here we are. Can Pomale pick up where he left off at the end of the third? Scored a couple of knockdowns there. With 50 percent gone in this fight again. Pomale just loading up, but with caution. He's, he's not really throwing caution to the win. He's winding him up, still still staying tight on the inside, and not and uh, being well aware that Vince Mawaka has some power. He's hit Mawaka hard a couple of times, right in the square of the nose. Mawaka needs to get off the ropes. That's not the place for him to be. No, not right now. Head snapped wobbled. back. He's wobbled. Do you reckon the ref's taking a close look at this stage, Hammer? He's, he's making the decision where he's going to step in or not, Seb. Tom O'Leary's gone back to orthodox again. There goes the rolling right and the left hook and the right and the left. Every shot is being eaten by Dins Mawaka at the moment. Just pinpoint accuracy from Vida Pomelay. That was they a take down. Spilled to the canvas. Shut up, give me a glass. And that's going to buy Mawaka just a little bit of time yeah. that he desperately needs. Absolutely, you know, I was just about yeah. to say that's going to give him uh, right. much needed seconds right. to recover. This or that. Time! He's hurt his arm on the fall. What's the matter? What did you make of that, Hammer? I mean, it was, I was sort of, uh, my vision was blocked there momentarily on that on that tangle, but uh, nevertheless, it was a little untidy. I'd love to see more of it. I mean, he's hurt his knee on that fall. The doctor's just having a close look at, at the knee, the leg. To what extent Mawaka sort of contributed? Yeah, he's, he's, having, he's, having problem, he's having a problem walking on that leg, which is, you know, the, the base is obviously, you know, There's paramount. Right. You need to have a good yeah. base to sit in your legs and roll yeah. those shots. To a knockout and now, yep. Pomale could be in a little bit of trouble. Just doesn't take much. He's, as you said, Hammer, a strong pace is needed. Oh, yeah. But he's going to throw some heavy hands back at Mawaka. He's unable to have a look at him. He's, he's, he has no footwork, really, because he's uh, in so much pain with that leg. Vida Pomale. But he may not need it as he throws that nice right hook. But Mawaka's going to take advantage Mawaka. as he sees an opening. Mawaka realises he can't move. Oh, this is turned on its head, this fight now. Unbelievable. Dits Mawaka now with a man unable to get out of the way of some shots. He's got him in the corner. Mawaka looked gone for all money. And the ref will separate them. What can Pamale pull out? He's got to dig deep. If he's got to capitalise on all the hard work he's done to this point. There's a title on the line here and they've absolutely given it his all. Dibs and Mawaka. If he can make it to another bell. I'll tell you what. Get a bit of rest on that leg. No matter what the result of this one, I'm, I'm already calling for a rematch. Yep. Because uh, they're both up. Uh, oh, and he takes a knee there. He takes a knee. And is it because his oh. knee's shot? Five, six, seven. Is he going to answer the call? He does. Now the ref goes through the process to make sure he's willing to keep going. And Mawaka's got an advantage. Mawaka, with renewed energy now. It's bringing it on strong. But Pomale's going to throw some hooks. Fighting on pure heart and determination. Rolls around. He needs to get back to the corner and get some ice on that knee. Pomale. Oh! Yeah, there he goes. He's rocked hand. him. He's rocked him, Hammer. Straight left hand. And again. And straight Big right. Run. And another one. Wow. These two. And the two. by the bell. And that turned on its head in that round. I'll tell you what, it's... Uh, and had it all. They've got to get some ice on the knee or the sore leg of Pomelay now. Up and standing before the time was ready. He's keen. He thinks he knows he's got a small advantage. The doctor's just going to do another quick check. Going to check him. He's going to check Pomelay. Upstairs, you've got to say that the problem stallion is right to answer the bell. The question is, what sort of power does he have left in the legs? The doc's going to do the same thing with Mawaka. Round five, imminent. Well, this, this match has been definitely worthy of the title, Seb. And Tommy, this finish is going to be important as we're having a quick timeout. The ref has called, Box. and we're back on. Doctor's out of the ring. Fighters are okay to continue. Now, Two rounds to go. Hammer, question becomes, the knee was taken by Pomale. But had he done enough in the first three rounds that if he sits out the next two, goes the distance, 
has he done enough yet? No, he's, look, he's still got to keep working. This is yep. still this is still there for the taking for sure. And he's got to count as well. So, oh, straight left, straight left. Standing in centre ring and trading the big shots. They go. That's exactly what he has to do. He hasn't got his movement with him now. Just stand there and fire those bombs. Got a little bit of mobility back in the leagues now. Tomale. He was saying yep. earlier in the night, Hammer, how it's important to keep the head up in some of these situations. Yeah, you can't look at the ground because you get, they're getting, when you look at the ground, for sure you're going to get caught with an overhand or a rolling shot. Needs to pop, roll down and come up with something. But his legs are really uh, not helping his cause. Pomale takes that on the glove, the one-two. Mawaka now letting it all go, looking for the uppercut. They tangle on the inside. What a fight this is. Two fearless warriors. Blow for blow at the Melbourne Pavilion. Pomale took a couple of awkward steps there, Seb. If you saw, Morocco might just be in the advantage here. Pomale just not not what he was in the first two rounds. Yeah, Pomale unable to sit down on the punch and get the power rotation through because his, his knee's gone. That was his head down, let him up. Well, as we know, the punching power is generated from the legs. Absolutely. The beat up Pomale just does not have at the moment. But he oh. staggers Mawaka again. Big shots are definitely being traded. And the, you cannot question the resolve of these two men. It's absolutely, absolutely, absolute warfare. It's got to be hard to beat this one for fight of the night. Oh, oh, oh. again, that straight left. To stay it again. Pomale nailing that left hand on Mawaka, but Mawaka with the lead hook. He needs that space, Pomale, to be able to get those lifts in. Could this be his opportunity? Fighting on one leg. Mawaka just as courageous to hang in there after a few early knockdowns. Two gladiators. Absolutely giving it their all, these two gentlemen. And almost loses his footing, almost loses his footing again, Mawaka. Seconds to go until the bell. One got... more round left in this one. Will he roll that overhand right again? Oh! Well, he's going to... Oh, and uh, here is the bell. The wow. Championship round ahead. And what a fight you have been treated to, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely. Fight of the night so far. Sam Solomon still to come. But this one is going to be hard to beat. The Doc wants to be totally convinced that Nadir needs to walk up. You, are you dizzy? Can't answer. Let's listen in. You're just tired. But he's, he still looks a little unsteady on his feet. Yeah, long conversation by the doctor. Make sure. Touch glove. Last round. Here we go. Victorian silver cruiserweight title on the line. Vita Pomale. Ditch Mawaka. Team Ellis Boxing in association. Oh, straight left again. Pro Bellum. You're going to see Pomale land that straight left. And how tough is Ditch Mawaka. He's taken some solid shots. The towel is in. The fight is over. The championship is won. Vita Pamale. What a moment, Seb. Hammer. Unbelievable. We knew it was coming. We just didn't know from who. At one stage, we thought Milwaukee had this sewn in the bag. But Vita Pamale with the knockout. And my word, what a fight, Seb and Hammer. Uh, it was always, uh, always looking dangerous there.